Hey guys, Lance here with FMG bringing you another infamous video. Uh, I'm going to try and just finish cranking these out. I think I have two more to go through before I'm done. Um, like I said, I just want to get these done and over with because I made them, or I recorded the footage little, like weeks ago, and it's just been crazy with shit going on between work. Um, last week was SGDQ. If you're unfamiliar with that, it's a charity event where speedrunners get together and people donate to the stream for Doctors Without Borders. And there's some, uh, like, donation incentives that they meet. And anyway, it's it lasts all week, 24 hours. It's a crazy awesome event. I was going to go in person, but plans fell through. So, But then add this week into a CEO out in Florida. So that was... Like I said, I didn't get much sleep past week, so... Anyway, this is where you meet the third conduit. Um, I went ahead and got all the dead drops in this area, or the recorded phone calls. I forgot what they're called in this game. I went through and got all those and learned about Eugene before the game told me about Eugene, so when this kid called me and said it was Eugene, I already knew that he was the third conduit and I'd be getting my powers from him eventually, so... A little bit of a spoiler, but nothing big. So anyway, you go through, you blow up these um, support beams under the uh, the highway to uh, lure a uh, like a caravan of vans carrying the conduits they're about to uh, take to Curtin K. I think that's the name of the place where they go in this game. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So yeah, that's what this is. Uh, you get a nice little cinema of Delson playing his phone. It's kind of funny while he's waiting. Um, but yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, this third, um, the third conduit's powers, it's something I would not have expected. So, anyway, you go through, basically fight these guys real quick. I'm um, going to give you a quick demo of the neon powers, because I did have a video planned for in between this, that was a uh, mission with the uh, neon girl fetch, and but it's just like yeah, I want to get these done and over with. So basically, with neon, is instead of going for headshots to take them out, you shoot them in the legs to detain them and gain your uh, positive karma, which is kind of weird, you know, because like just every time you play a shooter game, you're always trained to go for the head for the quick kill, but. Neon, you go for the leg, but it's kind of cool. Uh, if you do shoot them in the head, they blow up, which is kind of cool, but I contemplated doing an infamous run where I could do that, but I just didn't have it in me. I Because the thing with these infamous games is when you play them, the same shit happens no matter what, pos or what uh, morale choice you go with, which I get why they do that to save, you know, on the budget and, you know, for the game they have to make, but it's like, at the same time, it'd be cool if your second playthrough going, if, like, if you went hero and then you go infamous, like, if it was a completely different experience with the story, but whatever, maybe it's something they'll do with the next game, probably not, because, like I say, I have yet to find a game with a morale system that I enjoy, I think the last one I played was uh, Knights of the Old Republic, so anyway... Uh, Eugene gives you this phone app to track where the buses holding the conduits are. So you just track them down real quick. Um, I think here, yeah, this is where you see the angels and shit, and you're like, what the fuck? So, I had a friend tell me what the third videos, or, I'm sorry, the third powers were before... I played the game and he said it was like he's like yeah man you summon angels if you're good or demons if you're bad it's like you pull them out of a video game I was like what that makes no sense but what it is is you get your powers from video sources like TVs and shit which is weird but it's you know it's a it's a cool take boom I love that blast it's really handy with neon because it creates a, it lets them like float down so, but it, it, like, didn't make sense to me. I was like, what? So anyway, you do that, and you do that, like, th three more times and find them. And then you find out where the conduit is hidden, or where Eugene is hidden. 
So anyway, you go down there, and actually the boss fight with him is fairly lengthy. It took me a good probably 20 minutes to half an hour just because of the way the battle was. I mean, you're going to see here in a minute. You go down to his hideout, we've got all these, like, videos and set and TVs and satellite uplinks. And, yeah, you, like, get sucked into a video game. And you got lava on the ground. And it's just fucking weird. Like, it's definitely something unique, you know. And say your traditional, or traditional lightning, fire, ice abilities that you had in Infamous 2, you get something completely off the wall like this, so... Basically what you do here is you just go around, at first you'll have some like angels feeding him power and you take care of the angels and then you just go around and shoot the shit out of this guy. Um, I did learn later on in the fight that you want to use smoke because the smoke rockets have no like charge up time whereas the neons do so with smoke you can just like, I think you stock up to like 6 so you can just crank them out really fast. So. Yeah, and I didn't. I was kind of just sitting there firing like a dumbass. What you, the easiest thing to do is like when you're on those ledges, is to just kind of like hang off them, and like when he's not firing, just kind of peek up and launch something at him, which I think I do here. Yeah, I think I do that here because when you play on hard, you fucking you get destroyed by that beam he sends at you. So, like, I have this really bad luck when I was recording this game. I would always die when recording, but when I was just, you know, going through stuff, I, shit, I, like, I was, like, acing everything. I was, like, hitting all my headshots, or if I was using neon, I was doing leg shots, and, and then I start recording, and I just, like, get, I hit a total her dirt moment, so, but yeah, anyway, you beat him, and you get sucked back into the real world, and you're like, oh, hey, it's that dude that's been helping you, and you learned that in high school he was a he was like you know stereotypical nerd guy. So I'm gonna do a quick fast forward through this. So you don't have to watch it all. But yeah, he learned that he was a nerd and stuff, and then that his power started to develop. You know, all that stuff. So like I think you I think the angels and demons that he summons are based off a video game he played or something. And then he would use that to get back at the bullies that tormented him or something. It was, it was something cheesy. So, yeah, after that, um, you, of course, get the choice to um, redeem him or corrupt him. And, you know, of course, this being my hero playthrough, I uh, redeemed him. I saved him from... Well, either way, he doesn't go to jail because your brother busts in. And you're going to see that here in a sec. Yeah, your brother busts in, and, um, like I see, he's going to take him, he's going to throw him in jail just like he would have with Fetch, but, like I say, no matter what path you choose, Delson's like, no, 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 I got this. So, but yeah, like I say, they kind of play on some stereotypes here with Eugene about him being a nerd and, like, always wanting to stay inside and not go out. It's... It was kind of me. Like I say, I wish... It's like that stereotype's been outdated for so long. It's just like when you see it now, you're like... Do people really still think like that? Like, Delson has a line here coming. It was like, oh man, we gotta get you outside. You're never gonna get laid. And it's like... Uh, really? People still think like that? When is this game set? Like, 2004? So... Yeah, that's all I got for uh, this video. Yeah, here's the moral choice. Either way, you prevent him from going to jail. It's kind of lame. So, um, yeah, that's all I got. I think I have two more of these videos before I'm done with, like, my infamous uh, impression slash playthrough slash review. Um, like I say, I was, um, so far I've been really enjoying the game. Um, I mean, it does really feel similar to the other games, like... Yeah, the graphics look better. It runs at 60 frames per second, which is always a plus in my book. Um, powers are pretty fun so far. After this, I'll, I think I have some footage of the video, which is weird because like the video, his ability instead of throwing grenades or whatever, is he turns invisible, and then you can uh, just do like the the one hit takedowns on enemies. 
Like you rarely use the um, like the normal just shots with the video. Yeah, I think here's coming up that liner's like you need to get laid, bro. So, but um, yeah, the video like just the normal firing shots. It's like a machine gun. It's called like I think it's actually called a torrent, which kind of made me laugh. But yeah, it was pretty useless I found like the melee is really good you summon a giant sword that the angels have and then like I say L1 turns you invisible you can do the quick subdue takedowns on enemies and then what else was there um oh yeah you basically kind of glide so oh yeah and this is also I think the earliest point where you can get level 5 karma because up to this point, I've done everything good, and before I even did these missions, I cleared out the whole second island of, like, all the blast shards and shit, so... Yeah, you're gonna see it here in a sec. Which is pretty cool. Delson gets, like, a white under jacket, which... I think that's cool. So anyway, like I said, guys, uh... That's all I got for this video, so I'll see you guys on the next video. As always, you can click the logo for a quick subscribe button if you haven't already, so... Till next time.